It's coming up the coast from Florida after forcing officials there to put out the warning flags. Authorities are scanning the skies and the beaches for signs of trouble with the holiday weekend imminent. For now, most people have not left the beaches, but some report worsening conditions. You can definitely feel the rip current. Here in North Carolina, the most likely potential landfall, officials are begging the public to take the threat seriously. We want to make sure people don't try out the great waves right before the storm comes. Even though there are good waves, we don't want you to go into the ocean. But so far, they are not asking people to shy away. Go ahead and enjoy themselves. Make use of today and, and tomorrow, but pay attention. Pay and attention to what may come. Hanging in the balance, not just weekend vacations, 4th of July parades and fireworks, but also more serious concerns. Everyone here remembers Irene in 2011. The pounding waves, the flooding, and the houses ruined. The ocean breached right through the island in several places, washing out the only roads and cutting off several thousand people from the mainland. Could a storm that serious happen again? We've got to be ready for anything. 250,000 people expected here on the North Carolina beaches over this holiday weekend. The question is how much they're going to adjust their plans until they figure out what this storm is going to do.